Today we're going to break down a scene in order to get to the bottom of building a scene. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Anthony Fro here, Crate Sci-Fi. Well, it's been a minute. We've been making a film. I'm here today in my office where I edit and do everything that's not building. And it's also, you know, about 100 degrees out. So I've been doing uh, more office stuff. Right now, I'm finishing up the film that I've been working on. And there's a lot of prop and costume tutorials in the pipeline for that and a lot of behind the scenes and a lot of like what I'm going to do today. Since this is what I'm working on, instead of waiting to put out videos for a long time, I'm just gonna share with you the process and then eventually you'll be able to see the film. If you're watching this in the future, you'll be able to watch the film right after this video. So I wanna talk about um, building the scenes, building from the script, um, bringing it to life, right? Because I think a lot of people um, get overwhelmed and it, and it is overwhelming. But I just want to break it down because I think by peeling back the layers, um, you can see how it starts off very simply and very rough. But just like when we make props and when we build and when we make, uh, creating a, a, a visual piece of a movie that's not an object, but it's a, a an object of, of, of something of interest, right? Of something we watch or I guess entertainment more likely is um, I'm gonna show you how, you know, you start from the script, do like readings and rehearsals, then kind of work it out on the day, and then how it finally gets polished at the end, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is you gotta start with the script, right? So we'll look at this scene in the script. Tech Z, absent-minded. Roger that, Control. Prime objective understood. Be advised the ship has two pyramid shapes are lodged into the console. Modifications? I need to investigate these mods before I can run an accurate core assessment. The soldier gets a private message. Technician, A-Level wants status updates on the fives. He ignores her. Right, so when you're writing for yourself, you read it out loud. Now there's like lots of software where you can, you know, play it back for yourself. But you're always going to be rewriting and i talk a little bit in my other videos about writing not to be so precious when you're first writing like this version it's probably like the 30th version and then um probably after 20 versions it was like i read it with people and did rewrites and so it's part of the process right so you have that scene you've written that scene so then the next thing that you want to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to do a reading right so if you have your cast, you get the cast together, or um, if you just have some friends, it's easy now because everybody uses Zoom. So you do like a Zoom reading. So let's take a look at that scene in Zoom. Roger that control. Prime objective understood. Be advised the ship has. He inspects the wires, notices two pyramid shapes lodged into the console between more wires. Modifications? I need to investigate these pods before I can run an accurate core assessment. Soldier gets a private message, looks Tech Z up and down. Understood. Right, still bumpy, clumpy. People are reading it for the first time. You know, they're just sitting in their homes or offices. But now I'm starting to be um, aware of things that work, things that don't work. Sometimes if people keep having a hard time with something, even though you feel passionate about it, you have to acknowledge that, right? So then the next thing is I have my space, we have the sets. So then I'm just going to do a rehearsal with the actors in the actual space, right? So we go into the space and we actually get it on its feet, right? Just by like shaking it out. Again, this, they're not really acting. They're just sort of patting their head and chewing gum. I'm walking here, I'm looking here, the lines and stuff. So let's just look at like uh, the first rehearsal, just up on its feet. Answer your call. Roger that control. Prime objective understood. Be advised the ship has modifications. I need to investigate these mods before I can make an accurate core assessment. Understood. 
Technician, A level wants the status updates on the five. Right, so still very clunky, still very choppy, but huge for me because I know before we set up cameras and start paying crew, <laughs> what's working, what's not working, we kind of talk through things that they're having a hard time with or things that are easy for them and then taking the easy things and applying why that's easy to the things that are difficult and just seeing how we move within the space. And again, little things change about the scene in this third time. So now it's changed like three or four times. So now we're gonna go to the shooting day, right? So here we are on set. This is it, this is <laughs> live. This is, we're doing it now, right? So we're making adjustments and we're working on it, right? Right up until the last minute we film it. So let's take a look at that. Roger that. Roger that control. Prime objective understood. Be advised, the ship has modification. There you go. That's it. <laughs> then we look at it again, right? We're like, okay, this is working. Remember all that stuff we rehearsed back in the other way? I, I, I'm thinking in my head, what did I write? Why did I write that? And then now it's like, it's for real, right? and just making minor adjustments. So then now we make another adjustment. Roger that control. Helmet will be on, correct. Yes. If you have yeah. Yes. Okay. Roger that control. Prime objective understood. Be advised the ship has modification. I need to investigate these mods before I can run an accurate core assessment. Understood. Technician A-level wants status updates on the fives. Then it's like, okay, everybody's feeling good. <laughs> like, let's do this thing, right? So then um, we're gonna go and we're actually gonna do a take. And typically I like to shoot three to one, which means um, you shoot it three times in order to get one take, right? Maybe someday if I have an unlimited budget, I'll, I'll be able to do 50 takes. I don't think so. But typically with it, and then it's like, you know, if it's, and it kind of works itself out. Cause sometimes you'd be like, wow, that was perfect. Let's just do one for safety and move on. So you did two, or sometimes it's like might take four or five or there could be technical problems, but basically three to one. But here's one of the takes that was like the real performance. In six, Alpha Charlie one, take two. Roger that control, prime objective understood. Be advised, the ship has modifications. I need to investigate these mods to run an accurate core assessment. Understood. Technician, A-level one status updates on the fives. Cut. Yeah, that was good. So two things, um, right? And it's good. And that's just the master take, right? So what we'll do next is we'll film uh, another angle, some close-ups of him, some reaction of the, the other person he's talking to. So by that time, everybody that is in the scene, in this case, the two actors, they're gonna end up doing it nine or 10 times, right? So within that 10 times, most all the time you, you can get a really good take, right? Then in post, when I'm editing, adding sound, doing music, it goes to another place, right? This scene is actually done, so let's take a look at the finished scene um, and see what you think. Roger that control, prime objective understood. Be advised, the ship has modifications. I need to investigate these mods before I can run an accurate core assessment. Understood. Technician, A-level one status updates on the five. It's coming out pretty good. I'm very happy with this. Uh, I'm very excited to share with you all aspects of creating this and then finally the film. It was amazing cast, a great crew. We have an original score, uh, amazing sound design. 
we just got to do the color and the visual artists were amazing. The VFX, you're going to see there's some really cool VFX of this that I, I don't want to give anything away, right? So it's a process. It's still going to be a while and it's, it's almost done actually. It'll probably be done in a couple weeks, but first we have to do festival submissions and, and see uh, what we could do about getting it out there, but it will eventually end up on the channel. And from now until then, I'll be putting out, um, I have a few prop costume um, videos in the pipeline, um, another, uh, uh, creating some of the visual effects, a lot of fun stuff. But hopefully that little taste has got you interested and, and you'll stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Check out the merch shop. Got the hats, got the shirts. Buying those really helps the channel. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs>